Well, many of the crimes in New Orleans are being committed by the city's youth, and some say the solution is to put pressure on city leaders to be tougher on criminals. Well, others say that is only a part of the equation. As J.D. Career reports, today a former member of No Limit Records is trying to fill in the gaps, reaching out directly to our students. And I wound up getting arrested at one of my concerts. McKinley Phipps was granted clemency from Governor John Dell Edwards last April for a manslaughter charge. Phipps, who went by Mac in his No Limit days, maintained that he was innocent for the 21 years he served of his 30-year sentence. He says in a time where crime is on the rise in the city, it's important for music entertainers to be aware of the effects their music has on young people. A message he wished somebody gave to him years ago, like he's doing for these students today. Born and raised uptown, Mac's lyrics reflected New Orleans in the early 90s when the city earned its title as the murder capital. According to Mac, his bodyguard got into an altercation one night at a concert in Slidell. His bodyguard allegedly shot and killed the man. Eyewitnesses at the time named Phipps as the shooter. Fifteen years later, one of the key eyewitnesses recanted their story. This was at the height of the rapper's career with No Limit Records. While in jail, Phipps never gave up on his passion for music. And along the way, he picked up a passion for motivating and speaking to those inside about how to improve their life once on the outside. And it's opportunities like this that give them a chance to continue to motivate. If these youngsters understand what the other side of it is like without having to live it, I'm here to tell you that the other side is not what you think. It's a horrible place. A reality they face every day. Councilmember Oliver Thomas, who was also in attendance, says he appreciates people like Phipps doing this type of work for the youth in the city. Thomas says he always feels fortunate when he himself can learn by watching how those with authentic roots in the community lead. All throughout history, man, it's everyday men and women who said, you know, this is where we want to be. And either you get here with us or we're going to bring us there anyway. Phipps acknowledges that his old music used to glorify a violent criminal lifestyle. But that's why he came here to Einstein Charter to deliver a different message about the consequences he had to face. And many artists, we quick to say that, man, this is entertainment. But yes, you know, to an undeveloped mind, this is reality to them. Phipps says he hopes his perspective can continue to not only educate students, but everyone who is charged with their care. He says the education of our young people should be priority number one for city leaders, shedding light on some of the struggles facing so many students in New Orleans. It's hard for a kid to concentrate on his schoolwork when he don't know when he's going to eat or if or if his parents are, are, are going to have that fight again tonight. A life he knows all too well. Particularly in the hood, because of our conditions and the things that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it kind of makes us so uncomfortable that education becomes, um, we, we push it to the side. Phipps says when he looks into the crowd, he sees the city's future future worth investing in. J.D. Career, Eyewitness News.